Tell me a little bit about David Reese. Yeah, um, David obviously came to us for uh, from Florida, um, and he is a, a versatile edge player for us. Um, the things that stand out right now, with David, is for being seven practices in. He's doing a really nice job of, of bringing, um, you know, coming together with the playbook. Um, he's strong at the point of attack, and you know you see him around around the quarterback a lot. You know, he can he's been active. He's tipped some balls, and he's, he's rushed the quarterback effectively. So uh, we're really pleased with, with bringing him in and, and how he's handling himself and his practice habits. Yeah, you know, it's it's. Uh, I think I think once the once these players come through the portal, I, I really think it's about opportunity and the right fit, the uh, the the regionalness of or, or kind of where you're at. I think at that point, uh, you understand what what's important to you, and sometimes it's not necessarily uh, what was important to you the first go around. So. Um, you know, we're, we're happy to have him here. How much progress have you seen from him, even just from the beginning of spring? Uh, significant, significant. But, uh, you know, what stood out from practice one to practice now, he's playing with good effort. You know, and that's the most important thing. And, you know, we talked last week about the things that we needed to talk about on defense. And, and uh, objective number one was playing with fanatical effort. That was, that was more important than any scheme work or any technique or any call that I'll make. What did you take away from Saturday? Got a lot of work done. Got a lot of work done. Um, you know, the, the play at periods in practice have been really uh, helpful um, in terms of just the, the, the more realistic look of what we're doing on defense, some of the substitutions, some of the uh, formation recognition. Um, so when, when you're going faster, it feels more realistic, and I think it makes, makes practice uh, a lot more lively, and it actually, um, I enjoy it selfishly because it helps me work on down and distance and, and kind of consolidate some of my thoughts on how I'm going to call a game. Are you throwing a little bit more at the offense this time to give them different looks and try different things? We've uh, we've added several things um, for the really more for us uh, today and tomorrow. I'm not planning on on putting anything new in. Uh, I want to see us take a step in terms of the, the effort that we're talking about, the execution, and really put the put the uh, primary focus on how we're doing things, not exactly what the call is. That last. Play where Sam had the touchdown run. You guys had a lot of men on the line. I think it was six. Is that just kind of an example of of uh, what he can do if, if there's a lot of green grass in front of him? Fortunately and unfortunately, yes. <laughs> you know, fortunately on uh, Saturday this will be a good thing. Unfortunately for us, uh, you know, he's he's extremely uh, elusive, and uh, that's going to make us better. That's going to make us work on some things that that uh, other quarterbacks in the conference can present. So it's going to um, force us to, to, to focus on some things that typically we hadn't had the opportunity to focus, focus on in practice. Can you talk a little bit more about Hunter's transition to inside linebacker? Um, how's, how's that been so far for him? Hunter is, uh, I thought Hunter's on uh, Monday and Wednesday. Um, today I thought he had two really good days. He was around the ball um, a lot more than he has been. Um, he plays with toughness. Um, you know, I think he's got a, a, a real strong desire uh, to get to get good at the position, so for him, it's uh, he knows the he knows the words, he knows the uh, alignments. Now he's got to give him more reps in the run game and in the pass game. But um, I'm pleased with how he's coming along. He has a good attitude, and he's a, he's a tough kid. And uh, Nate's in a similar position. He he moved from safety to middle linebacker, and he made a quick transition. Three interceptions as a freshman, but mm -hmm. had kind of a quieter year last year. What does he need to do to be in the mix more this year? Nate is you know another really quality player. Um, and our room is uh, competitive, and I need to try to make it uh, even more competitive. You know, we brought, you know, brought Serge in, uh, brought Jack in last year, so the, so the transfer thing will always be available at really every position. Um, and those guys, when the time's offer, when their uh, opportunity's up, and, and when they get the chance, they have to be ready to go. How some of those guys have been here at those positions where you brought in new guys responded to having some new faces and maybe having more competition. I think everybody understands the the environment, um, you know. So I, I don't think that's a, a huge deal. Um, gone are the days of you know just a, a young player coming in. There's always been an influx of people, but now it's just you know guys are coming in uh, older. Uh, in terms of the back end, obviously you've had some new guys that have come in there. It feels like they're kind of hitting the ground running in a lot of ways. Is that kind of the expectation for some of those new guys that are transferring in the second half? Yes, it is. Uh, it is expectation. I think uh, training trainers do a good job of teaching. Uh, they do a good job of instructing. Uh, I think we have some variables on what we do defensively, uh, but ultimately, again, kind of alluded to what we talked about on Wednesday. It's about getting. It's about getting the guys on the field playing at a high level, more than 
um, being really proud of how, how big your playbook can be. Having Stan back playing alongside Ricky, does that uh, mean that Brad, if he's healthy in the, the fall, should see primarily defensive end rounds? You know, Brad, I think, is a versatile guy. He can play anywhere. You know, I think he can play anywhere inside the, the tackle box. You know, I think it's going to be um, with, with some of our positions, it's, it's you know, what's, what's the best combination? And that's, and that's kind of a, a, you know, every team faces that, that uh, challenge of, okay, primary position, but if you're playing alongside somebody else, how do we how do we make it work for everybody? And uh, Miles, an outside linebacker, how is he? He looks like he's been flashing this spring, so? Uh, BMW, I mean, uh, Miles, is, Miles has all the tools. You know, he's gotten stronger. Uh, you know, you can see him play normal down a distance, first, second down. You can see him play the edge. He's getting stronger at the point of attack. Uh, and then he's always had a little bit of twitch on the on the edge. So I, I think uh, Miles is a, is a three-down player as he can continues to develop and, and we're really excited about his tools. Anybody else, guys? Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.